In this video, we're going to talk about commas with names and titles. Both of these questions show up on the SAT and the ACT, and we will learn how to deal with them and always get them right. I'm Kratzi Sieverson. I'm the inventor of the Sieverson Method, a scientifically proven way to learn anything fast. I also wrote a couple of books, so if you want to check out my speed reading book or you want to check out my SAT vocabulary workbook, go ahead, I'll link those in the box below this video. But let's talk about the grammar and let's talk about punctuation with names and titles. My colleague and my friend, although we don't know each other, but I read her blog and I read her book, so I consider Erica Meltzer my friend. My friend Erica Meltzer in this book, um, by the way, I own the second edition, and if you guys are buying the book, um, buy the latest edition. You don't have to be uh, buying the exact same books that I have, uh, but in my edition, it's on page 58, where Erica Meltzer is talking about commas, names, and titles. And her main advice here is you need to be examining the context. So if you're wondering whether you should be offsetting the name with commas on both sides, or if you be, uh, should be offsetting the profession with commas on both sides, you should distinguish this from the context. For some of my students, this does truly work. But for other students who describe themselves as STEM kids, who describe themselves more as math people, they are looking for a more prescriptive advice. So I uh, went around and I looked for advice from more prescriptive writers, like this one, the SAT Black Book. And here's what the SAT Black Book recommends. They're, they're being a lot more prescriptive about questions with names and titles. Come over here. I'm going to show you a question from a recent, somewhat recent, A09 ACT. And uh, let's try to answer it together. So this is question number 50. This is about the Japanese immigrant. Uh, Izuka Masahara adopted the name George Masa in 1915. And the question is asking us whether we should offset Izuka Masahara with commas on both sides or whether we shouldn't. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with the concept of a comma sandwich. And if... Um, you can uh, offset something with commas on both sides. That means you can kind of like sandwich it or lift it up from the sentence and the sentence will still make sense. Well, let's check it out. Japanese immigrant adopted the name George Masa. Well, technically, grammatically, this sentence still makes sense. You have a subject, you have a verb, and many of you will know that G and H are incorrect answer choices just based on the knowledge of a um, comma sandwich because you cannot offset Japanese immigrant with one comma or you cannot put a comma after Izuka Masahara because of this verb right here. Many of you know that you cannot put a comma between a subject and the verb so G and H are out of question. But how do you choose whether to put commas around Izuka or whether to leave it comma-less? And if you went around and started to look for um, contextual clues, well you may end up going crazy and choosing the wrong answer. Here, this is the rule that I derived from the SAT Black Book. If it has the profession or the title or the description followed by the name, there's usually no comma. And if the name shows up first, then followed by the profession or the description, you can sandwich the profession or the description. Let me give you an example with me. I am a published author. I wrote this book. So we can say Katya Severson, comma, the author of SAT vocabulary, comma, arrived on time. And if it, the sentence were to be reversed, the author of the SAT vocabulary, Katya Severson, arrived on time, we would not be offsetting Katya Severson as in a positive with commas on both sides. Hope this makes sense. Let me give you an example with A09 right here. So pause the video, tell me if F or J is the right answer. If you said J, you're right. Because first we get the description, Japanese immigrant, and then we get his name. If the situation were reversed, if we began with Izuka Masahara and then Japanese immigrant was what followed, we could definitely offset this with commas on both sides. So if this were to move here and this were to move backwards, we it would be appropriate to put commas around Japanese immigrant. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Pause the video. Tell me what you think. When geologist, 
Elizabeth Catlos began gathering garnets. So first we have the profession and then the name. The right answer is J. Here, question number 33. However, as Inspector General David C. Williams notes, what do we have first? We have his profession, Inspector General. We have his title first, and then we have his name. So should we offset this with commas or not? The answer is no. The correct answer is D. Singer and music producer, Sylvia Robinson. Pause the video. Again, profession comes first and the name follows. You're not going to put any commas. Singer and music producer, Sylvia Robinson. The answer choice A is 100% correct. I hope this helped you guys and um, don't forget every month we choose one lucky person to be picked to get a one hour of free tutoring from me. If you leave a comment below this video this month, you will be entered in the draw this month. And we announce it on my Instagram. So if you want to check out who won this month or last month, just go to cedarsonmethod.com on Instagram. And uh, I'll see you there. Bye.